Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 before here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M3 Half Track. The M3 Half Track is an American armored personnel carrier half track widely used by the Allies during World War II and in the Cold War. Derived from the M2 Half Track car, the M3 was extensively produced with about 15,000 standard M3s and more than 38,000 variant units manufactured. The M3 was extensively modified with several dozen variant designs produced for different purposes. The M3 and its variants were supplied to the US Army and Marines as well as the British Commonwealth and Soviet Red Army forces. Served on all major fronts throughout the war, it and its variants were produced by many manufacturers including International Harvester and Autocar and were designed for a wide variety of uses such as self-propelled anti-aircraft weapons or self-propelled artillery. Although initially unpopular due to its lack of significant armor or uh, roof to protect them from shrapnel, it was used by most of the allies during the war. Uh, so overall, really uh, iconic and kind of important vehicle for the war effort. Um, what, think, what, I make, what makes the M3 so kind of interesting in my opinion is the wide variety of different M3s out there. There's M3, M3s that are equipped with just a 50 cal as an armament, some go equipped with a 75mm uh, anti-tank gun. Some with artillery guns, some with mortars, some with, you know, anti-aircraft guns. And it just overall really makes the M3 Half-Track such a versatile and just a really interesting vehicle to look at how many different variants and different roles they were able to, to basically convert these vehicles to. Um, if you guys remember back, I did a tutorial for the M16, which was the Half-Track version that has a quad-mounted 50 caliber anti-aircraft gun in the back. And uh, this was the new chassis design that I used for that design. So this is kind of playing on the new chassis design and I wanted to at least give you guys the new standard M3 half track as um, a lot of you guys will probably like to have the standard one um, over some of the different variants and stuff like that, which I do plan on hopefully doing um, in the future. Um, anyway, so I'm really happy with the design for this um, half track. I think it came out really good, has a really good look to it and is definitely a uh, step up from the previous version in terms of detail and just uh, overall accuracy. Um, so going ahead and starting off with, uh, most of the M3 half tracks had this kind of like little wild wire co coil in the front here. I think it might have been for towing or something like that. Um, it Pretty much all of them really had it, so I wanted to go ahead and clue that. And so this is just located up here in the front. As we move back, we have obviously the um, driver and passenger. I think the passenger also doubles as the gunner uh, for the 50 caliber machine gun. Um, so basically you have the um, seats in there and the side doors and all that fun stuff here on both sides. As we work our way back, we got the track system right here. So obviously making it a half track, it's got wheels in the front and tracks in the back. Um, looking up on top here, we have radio antenna, the seats here for the uh, crew. Uh, looking at pictures and stuff, it looked like there was a radio or something of this sort located right here on this section. So there's a little radio right here um, for the troops or something of that sort. And then on the back here, uh, pretty standard, just a little simple design here, some little boxes for putting cargo, ammunition, who knows, and then and then a door here for the troops to dismount. So overall, pretty uh, straightforward vehicle, and of course you could modify this, adding a bunch of little detail like um, troops gear and stuff like that, hanging off the side of the vehicle and all that. So there's really a lot of possibilities for you guys to go crazy with this vehicle. Um, but uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys the standard M3 half track before to, you know jumping into all these different variants and stuff like that for the half track. Um, so, hope you guys do enjoy it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer 1. For layer 1, go ahead and get started here. We're going to go and place down another brick upside down stair like this, and another brick upside down stair come off the back of it. Uh, once that's done here, this is going to basically start our right front wheel right here, and we can go ahead and go to this narrow brick stair here, place down one, two, and three, still brick top sides across, followed by another brick upside down stair, and a stair coming off of it. So you have basically your, your front wheel uh, base or axle set up like this, so it kind of gives you good, a good idea on how big this is going to be, and uh, where to kind of position this and all that stuff. Um, anyways, going ahead and moving from this point here, we're going to go ahead and go uh, forward, from the middle stone brick top side, we're going to go one and two blocks forward, and we're going to place down a stone brick top side like this. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down one stone brick top side to the right side. So you can see it's a little off center here, and we do want that, so it's going to be a little bit to the right side, and this left side spot is going to be left open. Once that's done, going back from these narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down two wooden trap doors back, so just like this on both sides. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down another brick, upside down stair like this on both sides, same thing over here. Behind this narrow brick stair, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood stairs back, followed by one and two stairs coming off this stair, and same thing over here. One and two, 
uh, dark oak wood stairs back and one and two back like this. On the side of these stairs, we're going to go and place down a row of four of item frames with uh, green terracotta in those item frames like this. And we also want to go and take signs and place down signs on the side of these stairs going all the way along the side here toward the front there like that for the for the uh, wheels here. Uh, we're going to go and do the same thing over here on this side as well. So four item frames, green terracotta blocks in each of these item frames and one signs on the side of these stairs all the way along the side there like that. With uh, that all finished there, we're going to place down another brick up down stair here. Come off these dark oak wood stairs on both sides. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle space in between these stone brick top slab, or in between the another brick stairs and place down a stone brick top slab, followed by one and two stone brick top slabs back like this. On both sides of the middle stone brick top slab here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the stone brick top slab like so. And uh, this right here is going to kind of be the kind of trailer hitch, I guess we can say, so you can attach. Um, different uh, trailers and stuff like that to the uh, back of the, the vehicle and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for layer one. So for layer one, we show something that looks like this, just a kind of a nice base setup for the vehicle. Uh, but that's pretty much it for layer one. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, moved on to our next layer. We go ahead and move on to layer two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick slabs on top of these two stone brick top slabs. When that's done there, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood slab that's going to come off this uh, stone brick. Or, uh, sorry, these are actually going to be two stone brick full blocks, so my apologies there. So two stone brick full blocks on top of those two stone brick top slabs. Anyways, coming to the left side here, come off this stone brick full block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab like this. We then want to go ahead and place down a zombie head that's coming off this uh, dark oak wood slab to the side, and we also want to place down a zombie head coming off this stone brick block uh, to the side there, like so for the front. When that's done, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off this dark oak wood slab toward the front, and also coming off this stone brick uh, full block like this and then in between those two uh, zombie heads there we're going to place down a end rod like that across for the front. With that done there we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood stair with its back to this dark oak wood slab and a dark oak wood stair with its back to this stone brick full block leaving a space of one in the middle there. In that space in between these dark oak wood stairs we're going to place down an end rod and we then want to go and place down a dark oak wood fence gate uh, on top of basically coming off this uh, coming off this dark oak wood stair we want the fence gate opened up toward the front so toward the zombie head. And same thing over here, just like that for the front there. With that done there, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of these two narrow brick upside down stairs to go ahead and make our front wheels here. Uh, we then want to go and place down a spruce wood stair like this in the middle, followed by a uh, dark oak wood upside down stair. So upside down stair like this to both sides. So you get something that looks like this from the back section here. In this middle section, we're going to go and place down an anvil off the uh, spruce wood uh, uh, yeah, spruce wood stair there followed by uh, cobblestone wall on both sides of the anvil like that. Going ahead and continuing to work our way back we're going to take our green terracotta and place down a row of three across followed by a second row of three across after that. And uh, actually this uh, row of three here we're actually going to place down a dark oak wood slab here on both sides like this. And for our next row back we're going to place down a green terracotta block in the middle followed by a birch wood plank like this on both sides and these will be the seats here. Uh, that the driver and, and uh, passenger would sit on. Um, going ahead and going back from these narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on both sides. We then want to grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall and place down a mossy cobblestone wall going back from those green terracotta blocks. Um, after that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, come off that mossy cobblestone wall. So you have something that looks like this here for the front. Um, once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of five. It's going to go all the way across. So we have one, two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks all the way across. On both ends here, we're going to need to go into our creative menu, grab ourselves an item frame, and we're also going to be needing a stone button. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on the side of this green terracotta block, followed by a cobweb in the item frame and a stone button over it. Same thing over here, and this is just going to basically create the sprocket wheels that the tracks would wrap around. Uh, with that done there, we're going to place down a uh, nether brick top slab back like this on both sides. Going back from this nether brick top slab, we're going to place down a end rod again on both sides here. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, coming off this end rod like that. On the side of the dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a green terracotta block. So, or sorry, not a green terracotta block, an item frame with a green terracotta block. And like we did before, we're going to be placing down a sign on the side of the stair as well. So just like the uh, tracked, the uh, wheels here that we did on the bottom. After that's done there, coming off the stair, we're going to place down a nair brick top slab back like this, followed by a green, again, a nether green terracotta block on both sides, and with an item frame, a cobweb, st and stone button on the side of the block, and we're going to go ahead and go over here and do the same thing 
just like that. When that's done there, we're going to go, and go to the space in between these tracks, and we just want to go and take our green terracotta and fill the space in with rows of three of green terracotta going all the way back to this row across the back here. Now when we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank uh, on the middle, just like this, followed by a green terracotta block to both sides. Turn off this green terracotta block and place down a dark oak wood up down stair to both sides just like that. And then come off the back of the dark oak wood up down stair, we're going to place down a green banner like down on both sides. We then also want to place down a lever on those two green terracotta blocks paced upwards and a dark oak wood fence gate coming off this spruce wood plank like that. When that's all finished there, that is going to do it for layer two. As you can see, you're starting to get a little bit more of the shape going for the build. Uh, but with that, uh, that's going to wrap up layer two. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three to get started here, we're gonna place down a spruce wood stair on top of this stair up here in the front, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this to both sides of that spruce wood um, stair, just like that. When that's done, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood slab. Come off the dark oak wood stair here to both sides, followed by an item frame on both sides. And in the item frame, we're gonna place down a glass block. And we also wanna place down a wooden sign on the side of the spruce wood slab like that for the front headlights. With that done there, we're gonna go ahead and continue to work our way back by taking our green terracotta, placing down a row of four across just like this, and then a dark oak wood slab on both sides like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and place down another snow block in the middle here, or just sorry, our first snow block, we haven't placed one before, but just a snow block in the middle there for the army star right there. And then we're gonna place down a green terracotta block to both sides. Uh, we're then gonna take a trip bar hook, place down a trip bar hook on both sides of this green terracotta block right here. For this middle section here, we're gonna place down a green terracotta block followed by a dark oak wood top set to both sides. Um, once that's done, we're gonna then place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of those two or mossy cobblestone walls on both sides. We then wanna place down a spruce wood plank on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair. So just like this on both sides and a trip bar hook like that coming off the side of those spruce wood planks. Um, on the inside here, we do wanna go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door and on top of this birch wood plank, we're gonna place down a wooden trap door and open it up like this. Same thing over here like that. And in the space in between them, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab like so. With uh, that finished there, continuing to work our way back, we're gonna go ahead and take green terracotta, place a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Green terracotta blocks back, same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Across the middle here, we're gonna place down a green terracotta block on both sides to the middle, and a spruce wood plank there in the very center like that. Coming off the spruce wood plank, we're gonna place down a trip bar hook, and then go to the sides here, we're gonna go ahead and do all the detail for the sides of the vehicle. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone button that's gonna go on this green terracotta block here and the last one right back there. We then wanna grab ourselves uh, some zombie heads, place down a zombie head here on both sides and a row of three of end rods across in between those uh, zombie heads like this. And then we don't wanna do the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like this, going across and a stone button here on both ends. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to the back. We're going to place down a green terracotta block here on both sides. We're going to take some wooden signs and we're going to wrap wooden signs around the sides of these green terracotta blocks. So just like this. And then in the middle section here, we're going to go in on top of these levers. We're going to go and place down a end rod that goes up from those levers like so. For the inside here, for the bit of interior we have, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood stairs. We wanna go ahead and start off right here, place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five. Spruce wood upside down stairs, same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and five across. In the space in the middle here, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some stone pressure plates and also some dark oak wood fence posts. Uh, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five, the stone pressure plates for the floor, followed by a dark oak wood fence post right here near the front and then a stone pressure plate behind these two uh, wooden trap doors just like that. With that all finished, that will kind of do it there for the interior. You can see again more of the build starting to develop and that right there is going to do it for layer three. Let's move on to layer four. All right guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to get started here, we're gonna go and take some stone buns. We're gonna place down one and two stone buns on these two green terracotta blocks on both sides here on the front hood. With that done, we're gonna then place down a dark oak fence post on top of this green terracotta block here, followed by a green carpet to both sides of that fence post. On top of these bossy cobblestone walls, we're also gonna place down a dark oak fence post again to both sides, and then again, a green carpet on top of these two spruce wood planks like that. When that's done there, going back to the green carpet, we're gonna place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks back. On the first green terracotta block here, we're gonna place down a stone button. We then wanna place down a stone block like this, followed by a row of one, two, and three green terracotta blocks back. And then on the third one here, a stone button just like that. 
Over here on this side, we're gonna go and do the same thing. So we're gonna do a row of one, two, three, green terracotta blocks, snow block, one, two, and three green terracotta blocks, and then a stone button here on both ends, just like that. With that finished there, on the back section here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab on top of these two green terracotta blocks. In the space in between, we're gonna place down a green terracotta block here both sides, and then a spruce wood plank there in the middle. Uh, coming off the spruce wood plank, we're gonna place down a stone button, and we then wanna place down a lever here on these two green terracotta blocks uh, to both sides of the spruce wood plank, and then have the have the levers facing downwards to connect up to that end rod for the back there, like so. With uh, that all finished there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the inside here and do a little bit more work on the inside. So for this, on top of this one trap door here, we're gonna place down one more that goes up like this. And same thing over there for the passenger seat. So you have the backs of the chairs here. And on the back uh, of the wooden trap doors, we're gonna place down wooden signs like that just to kind of make them look a little bit more cleaner there. We then wanna place down a dark oak fence post that goes up from this one right here. Uh, we're then gonna go ahead and take wooden signs. We're gonna place down one, two, and three wooden signs. And if you do want to do a little radio here on the back of the vehicle, um, you can go and take these two green terracotta blocks and swap them out for two dark oak wood upstairs downstairs. Now on the outside here of the vehicle, you're going to need to go and take some green banners, place down two green banners over it like that to just keep a green color for the side there. And on the inside here, you can go ahead and grab yourself some, um, what is going to be, if I can actually find it, we need some item frames and we're also going to need some black wool blocks. So to make the little radio here, very simply, we're just going to place down our item, two item frames, two black wool blocks, and then on the uh, item frame on the back here, the dark oak wood to place down a wooden sign like that. So just a simple little design there for the radio, uh, but it kind of works um, for what we're trying to do there. And then on this side here, we can just place down a solid row of um, wooden signs all the way across the side there, like that. And that'll kind of do it there for like the little interior bit for the uh, vehicle itself. So, uh, you know, you have some uh, room to play around it with it. Maybe add some cargo and different designs if you want to. Um, but anyways, that's going to do it for uh, layer four of the build. With that, we're going to move into our last final layers here, which are going to be layers five, uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to do basically the uh, top portion, the radio antenna, machine gun, all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers five through nine. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go take our green terracotta we're gonna place down a green terracotta block on top of that dark oak fence post in the middle there fall by one and two green terracotta blocks to the side like that we then want to go and go to this green terracotta block on the side go back one and two blocks back like this fall by a dark oak with top slab on the side of the uh, green terracotta block on top of this dark oak fence post we're gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall fall by wooden signs wrapped around the mossy cobblestone wall like that after that we're to place down a dark oak with upside down stair like this on the for the machine gun portion here we're gonna place down a anvil on top of this green uh, terracotta block we then want to place down a nether brick upside down stair fall by one and two and rods going forward just like that from the uh, nether brick upside down stair on the side of the nether brick upside down stair we're gonna place down a dark oak with top slab to the left side here for the uh, kind of uh, the uh, basically the um, box there that holds the uh, machine gun belts uh, we then want to go and place down a dark oak wood fence gate, come off the anvil toward the rear here like so. On top of the dark oak wood top side, we're going to place down a green carpet, and we also want to place down a red stone up here with the notches flicked back like that uh, for the side here of the gun, or on top there for the sights of the gun, and then also a wooden sign on the side of this anvil like that. When that's done there, we're going to go and take our green carpet, we're going to place down a green carpet on top of this dark oak wood top slab, and upside down stair just like this. Over to the uh, left side here, we're gonna place down a dark oak fence post on this green terracotta block right here, fall by one, two, three, and four. Um, iron bars going up like that for the radio antenna. We then wanna take green carpet, place down green carpet on top of this green carpet right here, on top of this dark oak fence post, and on top of this green carpet like that toward the front. And we then wanna go and grab ourselves wooden trap doors and place down a row of three of wooden trap doors going across, so one, two, and three, so one on this green carpet and two coming off these two green terracotta blocks like that for the front there. With that done, we're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves green carpet, place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six uh, back, and same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and we then wanna go ahead and wrap around and completely do a green row all the way around there to keep a nice green color all the way across and nice and consistent. Anyways, once you have that complete, that's going to complete the final layers for the M3 half track, and actually one last thing, uh, almost forgot these little details on the side. We're going to place down a trip bar hook here on both sides and then a wooden sign on this green terracotta block like that for the side of the um, 
the little turret ring up on top here. Uh, anyways, once that's all done, that's going to pretty much wrap it up and finish our M3 half track design. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this nice redesign for the build. I think it's definitely a big improvement over the last one. Adds a lot more uh, detail and just a lot uh, better shaping overall for the build itself. Uh, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Um, anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys do it, me to this design, I do I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from any side of the build between to my channel or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, as always, you guys give me credit for it. You're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build. Have fun with it. And, um, you know, uh, enjoy it. Uh, with that, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.